So we kick off, Leo, with a big story for the GB News crowd in the Express as Brussels sprouts state interference in free speech, etc. <laughs> Nicely done. So, yeah, this is about the National Conservative Conference in Brussels. Mm -hmm. It was shut down with a siege by the police. Uh, and the Brussels official, the, the mayor of Brussels, uh, who tried to cancel the, the conference the, uh, while Nigel Farage was on, mm. uh, actually hosted an ultra-radical Iranian politician. So this is uh, socialist Philippe Close, or Close, probably, because it's... Uh, Closer. Uh, play for he, Germany. He pressured the venue hosting that con to shut the event down, but last year he hosted the, the mayor of the Iranian capital uh, at, the Br at Brussels Town Hall. And this, I mean, this, he's not just a mayor in Iran. He's a serious guy. He's been placed under sanctions by the UK because he's involved in the commission of serious human rights viol violations or abuses in Iran, where, you know, the authorities have been shooting yeah. young women for, uh, for not wearing headdresses, for So example. Just, just for people who might not be fully up to speed with the story itself, what, what, what was the nature of the National Conservative Conference and why were they closed down, do you think? So basically, the National Conservative Conference was a conservative conference with speakers yeah. such as Nigel Farage yeah. and uh, was Suella there. Ma Suella was there, before, I she? believe. Yeah. Uh, also, Matt Goodwin. Yeah. Um, so you know, actual real conservatives, as opposed yeah. to you know the Conservative Party in the UK, which is basically the Labour Party from five years ago. And the National Conservative Conference, they're particularly concerned about immigration and especially illegal immigration. Yeah, this, this has yeah. been a huge thing across Europe. So there's, you know, we've seen a, a big tilt to the right across Europe as they've sort of woken up to the reality of their idealistic yeah. uh, policies around, uh, around not just uh, immigration, but also gender ideology and all kinds of things. And the left are authoritarian, so they've been trying to stamp out, uh, even, even in, in Germany they've been talking about just delisting, just not allowing right-wing parties uh, to run. Uh, and you know, they're basically authoritarian communists. They're trying to stop uh, yeah. people having a conference to discuss pretty mainstream and well-supported issues. These aren't, you know, foaming-mouthed radicals at this, this conference. This is, this is mainstream politicians. Well, absolutely. She was uh, the Home Secretary until not recently, yeah. not long ago. Go yeah. on, um, I, Well, I, two things. I mean, I suppose this uh, Tehran mayor also might be keen on uh, the issue of immigration, might have a, a finger on that one. I, I want to know whether he's still got his NatWest bank account, because that'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would really be the icing on this one's cake. Uh, but the, for the general story, I mean, I, I might not agree with the kind of things that are said in this conference. But I don't think shutting it down, you never win an argument by refusing to take place in the argument, let alone not allowing the argument to even exist. No. That doesn't seem like the way to do it. My only complaint would be National Conservative Conference when it's clearly international. Get you I mean, that was a, they had one, well, it was only last year, wasn't it, yeah. at the Natural History Museum, mm. which I got confused between National History Museum and Natural Conservative, and it all became a bit fuzzy. But is this, be, is this being expanded into an, an international movement, or is it just taking its, is it on, like, on holiday, like on the buses? And, you know, <laughs> dads, you know when they go, well, I don't know, let's set one in Brussels, that'll be a bit different. You're going on safari. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're, going, they're going to make being right-wing illegal. Yeah. This, is, this is the way, I mean, you laugh, but they're, they're already doing it. The, the, the yeah. police, directed by a left-wing politician, the mayor of Brussels, shut down a Conservative conference. They're going to make it illegal. To, Whereas, they're, going to, they're going to try and shut down GB News. They're going to try and shut down any, any right-wing voice on the internet. They're, they're taking control of all aspects in every, every part of society. We're, we're just gradually ratcheting, encroaching into, into communism. Whereas they said, and somebody pointed this out on Twitter today, that uh, Viktor Orban, who is very much the sort of uh, bogeyman of this mindset, um, allowed uh, a conference, you know, like denying him, defying him, uh, criticising him mm. to take place in, uh, in Budapest. There was no Budapest? It, no, but it is Budapest. Yeah, Budapest. It is yeah. Budapest and Hungary, yeah. Um, there was no attempt to close that down. You know, he allows... The, you, you might say, you might you know, they might all get home and <laughs> later on there'll be a knock on the door. I don't know, but uh, anyway.